rescued Myrtle when she was four weeks old after her mother had rejected her and her sister started beating her up. I made a 28-hour drive, brought her to my home. I had already had a special needs pig, so I knew one more would definitely fit in. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> I took her to a vet and we discovered she had no kneecaps and some bones missing in her lower legs. So she would never be able to stand. We attempted to use a wheelchair. She wanted nothing to do with that. She loves to run and run and run and run even faster. Give me that watermelon. Give me that watermelon. That is her favorite thing to do, to be silly and play. And it, she knows it just makes me laugh hysterically every time. <laughs> She's just pure. She brings joy to my life, to everyone's life. Boop. She's never in a bad mood. She's always happy. You know, she'll let you know she wants to snuggle and gives you this look like, hi, mama, and just is trusting you with everything she has and has done that since the minute I held her when I first picked her up. And there was something where she just knew she was safe. She doesn't seem to understand she's different than anyone else. She looks at the other pigs and she does everything that they do. Are you meeting the little wombat? I hope that she shows people that just because an animal is born or develops a disability doesn't mean they don't deserve a life. They deserve an even better life because humans are the ones that are bringing these animals into the world. Got a little bit of pumpkin on you.